Hello friends, welcome back everyone. It's so great to have you here on my channel. I would love you to join me and paint this gorgeous butterfly. Super shiny, pretty paints that I have used today from Scream. You have to check them out. I would love you to try this technique of watercolor butterfly. As you can tell, even dirty water is working magic. You don't need fancy supplies. All you have to grab is just any watercolors you have. Whether you have the expensive brand or cheap one, it doesn't matter. As long as you're gonna try to make some dots in the shape of butterfly you will be perfectly fine the colors that you're gonna choose it is really up to yourself you can certainly follow my color scheme but you don't have to the main thing is to try it to actually start and make a butterfly with me flat brush right now with some water in the brush and let's just drag that pigment drag that to create the beautiful wing of a butterfly I just love how the colors are mixing how the pigment is flowing with the water obviously there is more water on the brush than normally and that's exactly why because we really wish for the pigment to move i have been helping myself with the small brush and it's okay it's not really cheating it is just helping yourself with the color mixture with some flowing of the pigment and the big brush that i'm using the flat one it's fantastic and i suggest you to try this one if you have any flat brush but if you don't you know what that's okay i would love you to grab whatever brush you own because funny enough you may think that uh, only the best results are with the supplies i have right now but no if you will try and experiment with whatever you have in hand whatever you have in your studios or your kitchen table you can achieve some amazing results and maybe you can surprise yourself look i'm just helping out with the shape of the wing with the smaller brush because not always does uh, my hand goes as i wish and it just doesn't always go as exactly as we planned and it's fine to just fix it up or build up the shape as you wish a beautiful wing however you like this to be for and uh, moving my little dots i have used the clean water you can't see but trust me on the left that little tiny jar the water is clean for the part of moving the little dots with the water and i have quite a number of water on that brush as you can tell and you're just dragging the brush with the uh, flat surface on top of the paper and that's really it uh, you never know how the pigment will go and that's really the beauty of it the shape that I put the um, dots that's a great shape that's the great um, position of putting the dots to make that butterfly honestly uh, I've tried different ways of putting my dots and each time I feel <laughs> I kind of come up with a different sort of uh, looking butterfly and that's great when I was painting this I I was like oh I'm missing a little bit of color here a little bit of color there and it's fine you can just uh, get the little brush and just fix it up in the places that you love to have extra pigment or make the uh, wings a little bit more evenish kind of or drag a little bit lower make the wings a little bit longer mm the next process is really to waiting for this to dry unless you really wish to uh, add different even darker shades on the sides however it feels right for you my main me message i guess for today's video is to give it a chance to stop this video to really try i often hear that i have no talent i don't know how to do it i it doesn't work for me as it works for you what am i doing wrong and i wish you to know it there's nothing you do wrong the thing is that you have to practice the truth is my butterflies as you looked at them on the screen right now each of them is different because the placement of the dots was different or different brand of paint different amount of water on the brush so each time myself by practicing I was learning different thing I was learning different uh, technique how to move uh, the pigment how to hold the brush what angle to choose and things like that so my biggest suggestion is please just start just paint and practice by practicing you learn you will know for the next time and it's not the case that you're gonna do it uh, once and it's gonna work as you can see on my screen 
screen quite opposite you really have to give it few goals I remember when I was figured it out for the very first time my butterfly shape and where to pl- put my where to place and put my dots I was really lost honestly because it was not working I wasn't too sure and this um, particular technique I've used with the flowers and I kind of mastered my flowers and I felt very comfortable with it but then when I wanted the butterfly or the uh, the other butterfly it's the little um what do you call this one uh I know it. It's the dragonfly. I've done the dragonfly as well. You have to check that video. When I was uh, placing the dots and learning the English not, is not my first language, as you probably noticed, of course. Uh, so sometimes I'm losing English. I'm losing words. I don't know what to say. Same for these little lines. I usually say lines. These are antennas. And now I remember. So uh, just I'm going to finish my, my, my thinking, my thought process, because it's super important for you to understand that those things don't come naturally, at least not to me. Me. I always have been arty. I always have been drawn to being creative and I loved that. But it's not the case that each project was perfect, each project I knew how to do. No, I have been following different people. I was, was look, looking at a lot of projects or saving hundreds of inspirations in general to come up with things that will make me happy and to learn stuff. But to learn things, I really had to give it a go several times. So I suggest you to not think that you can do it on the first go, second go. No, sometimes it will take a lot of goals. Um, right now I'm outlining using my favorite a pen this one is pilot gtx c4 i think check the links be below everything it's uh, in the description box below so please check it out i love outlining hello, everything mommy. hello sweetie um, sorry about that can you make me something out of these two things like like what like bring up do whatever make anything just not drawing things okay how is that uh, Hannah just brought me my, my five year old she brought me tissue and a tennis ball and she just asked me to do something about it so I'm not too sure what is that okay I just hid that um, so let me just finish up there you go sweetie Mm-mm. no not like that okay. <laughs> one, one second guys Mm, sorry about that. I won't delete that part because life is life and that's also a little lesson to those who make videos maybe or to those who think they don't have time to be creative because they have maybe smaller kids. Well, life is just how it is and we just uh, must uh, actually appreciate it, embrace it. And that's what I did. She asked me to do some creation with that tennis ball and tissue, as I said, after when I finish maybe recording here. So I'm doing the outline and I'm doing doodles. I love that uh, connection between what watercolors and doodles it's not a typical watercolor sort of thing but this is something I totally love now on the screen you have my absolute favorite scream uh, watercolors uh, gorgeousness shifter colors you're not gonna see the beauty of this color right now because they change the color and you can see the shine in a minute when there is different angle of the light so right now you think it's a mocky not even pretty purple color but trust me it's only because the, the the light doesn't reflect this part of the butterfly right now but it will i wish you to know as well that if you ever purchase these paints you have to give it a chance and add water and let it set for a moment longer than usual watercolors so you're gonna get the pigment out and that shift color that shine and that beautiful metallic it's not even metallic it's beyond metallic and i also wish to uh, tell you that i just saw right now on instagram for scream watercolors that if you will make a purchase i think till today only uh, you get some free gift of one paint or shifter paint or something have a check and definitely the hollow paint you're gonna have it um, at the end of this video i'm gonna use my favorite the hollow one and you will see how pretty it is look this is the same purple but because the light is at the different angle to that wind wind no to the wing it is showing you the beauty of that and uh, depending on uh, the light it's going to shift the color and change the colors it is a gorgeous like i love scream handmade watercolors and handmade in europe fabulous beautiful and there's also coupon code i think it's for 20 percent off so please check it out have a look at my description box below because uh, i think it's fantastic to go ahead and if you had a thought about purchasing 
something from them this is a, a great day today because not only you have a coupon code from me but you also have some free gift uh, check their instagram but i will leave you all the links in the description look at that beauty look at that blue as well i absolutely love their paints they are just divine and as i said the different angles of the light makes it just looking different and at the end of the video and at the beginning i will be wiggling the <laughs> butterfly on the sides and you will be able to see once more the colors how they reflect and all so i guess uh, the main part uh, we've done it's to create the butterfly and then it's up to yourself how you're gonna finish up and how you're gonna make this design you can do some dots you can do lines you can do more doodles you can just do whatever i just feel that with each butterfly i'm trying to kind of create a different look and experiment as well with each butterfly and uh, not only the shape but the color and the design and because my butterflies are not really realistic butterflies let's be honest they're more magical i think i'm allowed to do uh, them kind of colors and they don't have to look so real uh, because uh, this is just the magic of our uh, painting and it's our imagination and i totally love that um so i really hope you will try it for yourself and also check the um, beautiful dragonfly the green one it is phenomenal the little veins that was were painted there it is just fantastic i'm gonna gift that dragonfly to my best friend anna because she, it's her favorite thing her birthday were this week and we'll be seeing each other so you can actually do what i'm gonna do which is fussy cut that original painting and stick it to a frame and have like a little embellishment um, like a little 3d element sticking on the paper uh, you can just stick it not flat but actually put maybe like a 3d foam underneath it or something so your actual butterfly or um, dragonfly will stand out behind the glass in the shadow box or that kind of way I think it's a lovely idea for a gift and I, I think handmade gifts are still valued by people whether it's a card or a handmade book or whichever, I think it's just fantastic to give a piece of your heart to people that you love. Um, I also wanted to let you know how grateful I am for you to watch my videos. Uh, maybe not to, not all of you know that this is my second YouTube channel because I have been doing YouTube videos for the past 10 years and I have my main YouTube channel which is Marami Small Art and this one is Marami Simple Craft and I decided to open a second YouTube channel which is it meant to be actually for paper craft and it turned out to be watercolors which is fantastic that's that's how kind of our heart will go uh, and I always follow my desires and follow my passion follow my needs and the current mood um, so I really am grateful that you are visiting this new channel uh, it's only a couple months old and there's already so many of you here and I truly appreciate every single one of you and look at the screen right now the gorgeous hollow and um, this is how I found about uh, the beautiful paints it's because of that hollow paint that's how I learned about scream uh, brand i just fell in love with that haul and i was like i have to have it i need to try it out this is like a glitter in the paint and because i have been using glitter for the past weeks i was like really can i have the same thing in the paint effect i just have to try it out and i did and i didn't look back ever since i just enjoy totally and love the beautiful haul effect this is my from all the recent supplies that i tried purchased just enjoyed this is absolutely my most favorite uh, supply and I just love this little paint. It is just amazing. Uh, honestly, you will, if you ever will have a chance to see it in your real life, you'll be surprised how beautiful, shiny it is. It is just such a little, little doughty paint, but it's such a beautiful one. And also it will last you a uh, quite long one, I have to say. Even though the piece, the, the little pan is small, um, you don't need that much, like it's very pigmented, you don't have to worry about. Um, so yes, my beautiful friends, this is nearly it. Sadly, I never like to go and I never like to say goodbyes, but we have to very soon. I really, really, truly uh, love this project, enjoyed making this shiny butterfly, and I really hope you will try it for yourself. Just start.
my main message for today's video as mostly actually is just to start uh, thank you so much grab your watercolors and paint with me look at this shine absolutely gorgeous shifting have a lovely day and i'll speak to you soon bye for now bye bye